Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. We've got a great chance to see this comet C2020F3 Neowise. Now, this is a comet that was just discovered back in March, but it's been visible in the mornings. And tonight, and the next couple of nights, is going to start becoming more visible in the evenings. But I caution you, it's not going to be real easy to see in the evenings until maybe later this week. And there's some debate on whether or not it's going to stay as bright as it is. So this is a look uh, at a program I use called Stellarium. It's a web app. They have a software you can download. It's all free. And they have a paid app for your phone, which is great. But I'm going to show you. And again, this is for Charlotte, but this really includes anywhere in the United States north of 30 degrees north. So this is not just exclusive to Charlotte, but the times will be obviously exclusive. So this is tonight. You can see the setting sun in the western sky. And just to orient you, we're looking due north here. Off to the left of your screen is west. You can see the W there. This is north. And if I go a little bit east, that's northeast. So we're looking due north. You see the sun setting. It kind of sets in the northwest sky this time of year. Yes, it does. It's not due west. It's northwest to this time of the summer uh, here in the Charlotte area. You see the comet. You won't see it there because the sun is up. But watch as we get closer to sunset tonight. You can see once the sun goes down, the comet, this is about, I'm going to stop this around 925. This is really low in the horizon, about about just about 10 degrees high so really difficult to see obviously if you have trees or buildings you're gonna have a tough time seeing it uh, you'll have a tough time seeing this unless you have binoculars or a camera to brighten it up but here's the cool thing in the mornings it's still very visible so watch this track uh tonight through tomorrow morning it dips below the horizon and then tomorrow morning like we've had the last couple of mornings it rises just above the sun here in the northeast sky this is about 5 30 uh, we'll stop this around 5:34 in the morning, and you can see it rising there. So you can see you can you, you get a chance to see it at night. It's a little bit harder at night. The mornings are still more visible. But what I want to show you is over the next couple of days, I'm going to back this up to the evening time frame. I'm going to stop this at 9:30 because 9:30 is a good hour after sunset. So we'll stop that around. Uh, let me back this up here. So this is about 9:30. So northwest sky. This is tonight, but I'm going to go into time. So we'll go to tomorrow night the 15th, the 16th, the 17th. Notice how it starts getting higher in the sky at 9.30 every night. So that's why the next couple of nights, it'll be easier to see. By the time we get to next week, uh, in the you know around the 21st, it's much higher in the sky, the 22nd, the 23rd, the crescent moon will be here. Now here's the problem. Next week, there's a chance that the comet could dim. So there's gonna be this very narrow window, I think, probably over the next couple of days. I'm thinking, probably the 17th or 18th, which is right here, that it's high enough in the sky to see long enough after sunset that you will get a good chance in the evening. The morning time frames become more difficult over time. Watch what happens. It starts rising closer to sunrise. So the next couple of nights, it's better probably in the morning than it is in the evenings. But going into next week, that pattern is going to change. And if we're going to see it in the evenings, if you're not an early riser, and who wants to get up at 530, right, uh, to watch a, a comet? I mean, you can. It's been spectacular the last couple of mornings. This will be your best chance uh, probably over the next couple of days. So this is the 17th. So today is the 13th. Wait a couple more days in the evening right around 930 in the northwest sky. You'll get a chance to see this comet. Hopefully it won't dim dramatically by then. Hope you enjoy. If you can, grab that app. It's a great app to use. Get another sky, a sky tracking app. It's always great to kind of get your orientation where you are. Binoculars help. Look at it for the binoculars. Then you take the binoculars down, you'll actually see it. Some of the great shots you see on my page and on Twitter and Facebook and social media, those are taken with cameras with three or four or five second exposure. So it looks a lot more vivid and bright. I'm going to try to do that tonight in the next couple of nights but it takes a camera with a long exposure to make it look that spectacular.